Hi guys, how is it going? We are about to get creative in the studio. No sewing, no calculations, just getting creative, making some daisies. Now I made these daisies in 2016. I have a bunch of them here because I wanted to come up with creative ideas to decorate the hall where our parents celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary so i'm gonna share this with you guys how i made these daisies so yeah we will need dvds or cds or if you want humongous daisies you could use old vinyl records the small ones or the big ones and you will need petals now you can either buy full flowers in the dollar store and get petals from them or you can buy petals in um packages like they sell them online i'll show you the little package like they come in little packages like these i think there are about 50 of them in in this little packet here and our glue gun and glue sticks so let's get started the first thing you want to do is to get your cd and we to make the daisies we are starting on the outer edge so just dab a little glue along the edge here and you get your petal and you put the tip of the petal inside just like so and then the other one you put beside, overlapping ever so slightly. And then that's your first row and then you start your other row on the inside with your glue just on the tip of your first row and that is how you're building overlapping ever so slightly now you keep going and going and you go in on the inside and you do the same thing until you get to the center now by the time by the time you get to the center your daisy center should look just like this so you would have covered the little hole that's in the center so that's what your daisy center should look like okay guys so i went ahead and i finished off this daisy now unlike the one i showed you before with the center closed i finished this one off with a hole in the middle now, I mentioned at the top of the video that we will need the daisies and the DVDs or CDs. However, we will also need something to finish off the center of the daisies. We can use beads or we can use other petals, a petal of a different color. We can also use buttons and we can use like full flowers just like this so i will show you a couple finishes and how they look now when we had the celebration for our parents i actually finished off the center with um these beads so what i did was i 
put the glue in the center and before the glue gets hard I just sprinkled as many beads as was necessary in the the center on the melted glue and then if you want to you can just tap down a bit or you can just make sure you sprinkle the beads liberally and then put it to sit so that the glue can harden and what happens is that when the glue hardens the beads um, that are sitting directly in the glue will harden in the glue so then you just get your bead container and you just dump the excess back into your bead container and there you have it the center is finished off with beads now another idea for you to finish off the center is to use uh, a petal of a different color and you basically just dab a little glue in the center and put your petal in now this petal here has a little hole so to make it even more interesting put a button over the little hole in the center there or you could just forego the petal and the smaller button and you could just put a bigger button in the center to finish it off so i think i'm going to finish this one off with that petal with the small button so you can see how it looks so i dab the little glue and there we go we have our petal of a different color actually it's two-toned it almost has a kind of ombre look like and then I dab a little more glue in the middle just a little bit enough to hold the button so there you go and that is how you could finish off the center of one way that you could finish off the center of your daisy now another thing that you could do is leave the hole just like i did here and then you get, I think it, this is a lovely um, contrasting color, um, full um, flower, full bloom. So you could use some something like this and I'll just nip off the little end hair. Just dab a little glue in the center. And then just glue this to the center of your daisy and look how beautiful you could do something like that you could do this or you could do this or you could go ahead and use the beads whatever you choose to finish off that is just up to you okay guys so now we have finished a bunch of daisies and we are going to be looking at applications how you can use your daisies so before i look at the applications what i wanted to say to you is that not only could you do daisies on the front of the dvd or cd or lp you could actually do daisies on the back also so for example if you want to hang this in a window or something you will have petals on both sides but not only could you do the front and the back with petals you could literally put two CDs together that were done so before you do that what you could do is just dab a little bit of glue and then get a piece of string and put your string on the back of one of your daisies and then 
And I need a little more glue. You get some more glue on the back of your daisy. You take another daisy and you line them up nicely. That's good. And now you have a daisy that has both back and front. Now this you could hang in your window, basically anywhere you want to hang it to the decoration. And another thing, you could actually use um, the colors like some people like to stay traditional like for christmas they will use like green and red they always have to green and red so you could go ahead get your red petals and do stuff like these like the daisies to make decorations you could literally hang it on your christmas tree if you wanted to but that's a neat way that you could put them together and use them other application could be to make a wreath no, I'm using basic cardboard because I didn't have a wreath form. So I figure, okay, I'll just use me some honeycomb cardboard to make a wreath. And I say honeycomb because this is how it looks. And if you look at the front closely, you may see that kind of honeycomb pattern um, on the, the cardboard. But I basically cut myself out a circle. I cut out the inside and then I use ribbon of my choice and glue the ribbon around the edge to finish off the edge and i did the same thing on the inside to finish off and then i've left some ribbon at the bottom here because then i want to tie bows at the bottom what i'm going to do is just dab a little glue onto the cardboard and start mounting my daisies to the cardboard now i'll mount my daisies so that they overlap because overlapping creates more interest put another one here and you see it coming together Pretty neat, eh? Now I'm gonna go back up here. Now you could use this pink for any celebrations, including Christmas. You choose the color that you want to accent in any given year for Christmas, right? You don't have to be traditional. So check that out. That's a wreath in the making with the daisies that we've made from petals and old CDs or DVDs or LPs, whatever you've chosen to use. And the beauty about using the cardboard is that I'm just upcycling what I had lying around. I didn't have to go out and buy anything. So that's what your wreath will look like when you finish applying your daisies. Okay, so there we go. This is our wreath. What I'm going to do is just get a little glue and dab to the side here and put my bows in place so that they can look neater. Okay, so there you go. With your bow at the bottom of your wreath. To hang your wreath, just get yourself a piece of ribbon and just dab a little hot glue on the back and attach your ribbon 
don't have to worry about the back of the wreath too much. Nobody's going to see it. It's going to be resting against a wall or a door or somewhere where nobody sees the back. So there you go. And you have a lovely creative wreath. There, that's your wreath. Now a third application for your daisies that you will be making from seeds and petals and buttons or whatever you choose to finish off the middle with is to use it to accent down and across a doorway or a window or windows or doorways or hallways for a special occasion like when we had our my husband and i celebrated our 25th wedding anniversary a couple of years ago i used them to accent the corners of swags that i put across the back doorway now i just put one in the corner here and one in the corner here and the swag tails tails came down on the sides however if you wanted to go the extra mile you could not only put the daisies at the corners but you could just leave this side bare and you could just trail the daisies down the other side or you could trail the daisies down both sides on the swag tails and that would be beautiful now the last application is hidden behind here and i will expose it so you can see what i've done there we go you could just use your daisies on your wall you could use it above a mantle or you could use fireplace mantle or you could use it above a bed in a bedroom you could use it in so many different areas on your wall wherever you want a focal point basically just take a little pin like this this is the same pin that i use to pin it to the swags take that pin and you stick it in through the hole at the back of the cd and stick it into the wall now this wall is wood so it's not going to go in that easily but these pins will go through drywall no problem so yeah you could have a display like you could have a daisy display on your wall and you could use any color you want to use that coordinates with your space so yeah that's it that's the final application i know there are tons of other ways that you could use these daisies but i'll leave that to you now if you enjoyed watching the video if you have seen anything that you're going to try please give two thumbs up please like subscribe if you haven't subscribed and please hit the notification button so you can be notified of new videos don't forget to check back check out those projects check out those lessons i have something for everyone